This is Gary Schnitke, and this is a 5-Minute Farm Doc Daily dealing with potential disruptions in nitrogen fertilizer trade as a result of the Ukraine-Russia war. To gain a feel for the potential disruptions, we first look at what the trade was before the Ukraine-Russia conflict in 2019. Major users of nitrogen fertilizer were China, which was the number one user at 27 million tons, by far the largest user of nitrogen. That was followed by India and then the United States. The fourth largest user was Brazil. The producers of nitrogen were first China, and China produced enough to meet their needs in terms of nitrogen for agricultural use. The next largest producers were India and the United States. That was followed by Russia with 11 million tons of production. Overall, the major net exporters of nitrogen in 2019 were Russia first with 15% of the net exports. That was followed by China, Saudi Arabia, and Quater. So, The major net exporter of nitrogen was Russia, and it would be very difficult to make up that difference if Russia would completely go off the line. The major importers of nitrogen was first India, and then followed by Brazil, and Brazil imported almost all of its nitrogen use. That was then followed by the United States and France. If we look at potential disruptions from the Ukraine-Russia war, we first look to Russia. There is a potential that Russian supplies of nitrogen to the world could be reduced either because of the war itself or because of sanctions placed on Russia. The second area where we could see reductions is the European Union or Western Europe. That area was largely self-sufficient in nitrogen production before the war, but they are have a stated goal of reducing natural gas imports from the Russian Federation. Russia provides 40% of the natural gas needs of the EU. If that is cut, at the very least, nitrogen from that area will be very, relatively high compared to other sources, and will likely have to be curtailed so that Europe's heating needs can be met. The third area where we could see reductions from are areas that could provide natural gas to European Union, but are now using that to produce nitrogen. One of the prime examples of that would be Norway. Those are the areas where it could be cut, If we're looking at impacts of that, particularly on the Western Hemisphere and Brazil, Brazil will have to look for new sources of nitrogen. Currently, it gets about 20% of its its nitrogen from Russia, and it could look to China, Quater, Algeria, or Iran for the additional nitrogen. Those happen to be current major suppliers to Brazil. They could also look in the Western Hemisphere, for example, at Trinidad and Tobago, which currently provides U.S. with nitrogen fertilizers, as well as Canada. Brazil could use Canada as a source of nitrogen, as well as the United States. All of that is going to draw nitrogen away from the United States and put that, move that into Brazil. Depending on the size of the disruptions in Russia, Western Europe, and areas around Western Europe, we could see much higher nitrogen prices in the fall as we're moving forward into the planning season for 2023 crops. You can read more about potential disruptions in the YouTube video description listed below.